guys, in this video we are looking at linear patterns that have variables in terms. And what we do here is form an equation by using the fact that there is a constant difference. And then we solve the equation to find the unknown or the variable. For example, we've got x plus 3, 3x plus 2 and 6x minus 1. If we need to find x, we form an equation using the fact that there is a constant difference and then we solve that equation. Let's continue with this example. The first part tells us to determine the value of x. So remember we use the fact that there is a constant difference and how do we find a constant difference? We say t2 minus t1 is equal to t3 minus t2. Okay, then you just fill in the relevant terms. The first one, term 2, remember this is term 1, term 2 and term 3. So the first thing we do is write down term 2, which is 3x plus 2 minus, and put term 1 into a bracket because we've got a minus sign here. It will affect our signs inside the bracket. So term 1 is x plus 3 is equal to term 3, which is 6x minus 1 minus term 2. Again, we put term 2 inside a bracket, 3x plus 2. Now we just get rid of brackets. Therefore, 3x plus 2 minus x minus 3 is equal to 6x minus 1 minus 3x minus 2. Then you gather like terms. 3x minus x is 2x. Positive 2, negative 3 is going to give you negative 1 is equal to 6x minus 3x is 3x. Negative 1, negative 2 is negative 3. Put all the x's on one side. You've got 2x minus 3x is equal to negative 3 plus 1. Therefore, negative x is equal to negative 2. Therefore, x is equal to 2. So we've solved for x. The second part of the question says, write the numerical values of the first three terms. So we found the value of x, and this is pretty easy to do. Term 1 was x plus 3. So you just substitute x with 2. Term 1 is equal to 2 plus 3. So therefore term 1 is equal to 5. Don't forget your therefore signs. Okay, and then the second one is term 2 because we want the first three terms. Term 2 is equal to, again, write down what was given to us, 3x plus 2. Substitute x with 2. So term 2 is equal to 3 times 2 plus 2. Therefore, term 2 is equal to 6 plus 2, which is 8. And finally, term 3 was 6x minus 1. So therefore, term 3 is equal to 6. Remember, x was 2 minus 1. That's going to give us term 3 equal 6 times 2 is 12 minus 1 is 11. So that's not the end of your question. Remember the question was to write down the numerical values of the first three terms. So once we've worked them out, you list them. The numerical values of the first three terms are 5, 8 and 11. Right, the third part of the question says what is the fourth term? Now here we worked out the first three terms which are 5, 8 and 11. Let's find the constant difference between the terms. 5 to get to 8 is plus 3 and 8 to get to 11 is also plus 3, which means that B, which is the constant difference, is equal to 3. 
So to get to our fourth term, the easiest way to do it is to say term 4 is equal to term 3 plus the constant difference, which was b. So we found out what that was. So term 4 is equal to term 3 plus the constant difference was 3. And what is term 3? Term 3 is 11. So term 4 is equal to 11 plus 3, which is 14. And that's term 4. Keep practicing, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.